Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. 164 years ago, brave Texans and brave Vermonters fought on a historical battlefield about 60 miles south of here, the Battle of the Wilderness. 165,000 troops were massed, amassed there, including Vermonters from the 1st Brigade. 1,200 from Vermont's ranks died. Among them was Daniel Lilly, a teacher in Barnard, Vermont, and his funeral is still today remembered as the largest funeral in the history of that town. Another, Ed Holden, fought and survived, but saw his brother with his head shot off die on the battlefield. Today, a different battle is taking place on that hallowed ground. It's a conflict between a great American corporation, Walmart, and a great American historic battlefield, the wilderness. And my friend from Texas and I are joined together to ask Walmart to do the right thing and not build its facility, a 140,000-foot facility, on that battlefield where troops were massing. The question for us is whether we can honor the fallen. Time's and expired. that, as my friend will tell you, is just the way Gentlemen, it is. Gentlemen, time's expired. For what purpose, gentlemen from Texas, rise? Request permission to address the House for one minute. Without objection, gentlemen is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the historical comments my friend from Vermont has said regarding Union troops from his home state. The Battle of the Wilderness took place in May of 1864. On the second day of the three-day battle with a statement by General Lee, Texans always move them, the Texas Brigade successfully forced back Grant's Union troops. However, the Texans sustained 60 percent casualties. There were 165,000 troops Union and Confederate in this battle of the wilderness. That's the number of troops we have in Afghanistan and Iraq put together on one battlefield. There were 29,000 casualties. The fighting was so fierce in the dense woods, it caught fire and hundreds of wounded on both sides burned to death. And their graves are only known by God. Mr. Speaker, all those troops from the North and the South were all Americans. Mr. Speaker, here is the battlefield. It's outlined in this black line. On this hallowed ground right here, you can see this X is where Walmart wants to build one of their beautiful stores. There are other locations available for Walmart. So we from the North and the South, time in a bipartisan way, want Gentlemen's Walmart to build expired. someplace else. And Gentlemen's that's just expired. the way it is.